Hello, one and all, I am Colin Games. Today we are looking at Soul Forge once again. Today I was going to go into the uh, deck building aspect of the whole game. Because, uh, something we haven't gone into now, our deck isn't amazing yet because we haven't got a lot of cards. So I'm going to go copy and restore and use up my uh, silvers. And, uh, to show you, you can also get skins. But yeah, but they're quite expensive. So what we will be getting? I suppose basics. We can afford quite a few at the minute, which is good. Four packs, which is uh, going to give us a, a nice boost, I suppose. So let's have an, an open them up and see what we get. So we have got. I've no ah, so we've got a rare. Next pack. Go ahead. Heroic, that's nice. So I, I've still got to get to grips with the whole game and the rarity system and stuff. I know it sort of says anyway, but hey. We're getting a lot of uh, the green type. I can't think what they are of hand, sorry. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, wow. So that, that was. that went okay. So uh, I suppose we can go in the deck building now and just try and build up the deck. Now, the most we got is the Utara, I suppose. So what you want to do is uh, unhighlight the others, and then go from there. So I'm going to put him raging because uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, oh yeah, it shows your description inside. So target which gets free attack and free health. I mean that sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to try and do a better job of uh, letting you know about how the game is about and stuff. Cause I know that's something what doesn't come across very well. That sounds quite nice, that life bring a heric. Cleric, even. I'm going to try and get better at the whole game in general. I mean, I don't know how many cards I've got, so I'll throw these in, all of them. And then from there, I need to take stuff out, I'll take stuff out. If I need to put stuff in, I can put stuff in. And so on and so on. So this is my first new terror build, I suppose. It's got quite a low limit of 30, I don't know uh, whether that's a good thing or not. I've got to be honest, thinking about it, because I've been thinking about it quite a bit, I don't know whether it adds more strategy or not, in terms of having a fresh hand every turn. I'm still thinking about it, to be honest. So I'm uh, a few cards off, so we can look at some of our sets. Maybe uh, some Necrium, maybe. We've got a lot of red, maybe we should look at the red. You know what, I would like some spells, so let's look at spells. Oh, I've only put creatures in it, I did it the wrong way round. I've got to get used to that, I've got to be honest. Cool of the week sounds really good, to be honest. Giving that destruction, it's uh, very helpful for sure. Uh, heavy artillery is what we got, didn't we? So uh, they're worth playing. Leaving us with one card needed. I think we'll go for a primordial surge. That should sort us out quite well, I think. So if we, uh, let's call out Terror Build 1. Just to give us an idea of how things go throughout games. Okay. A deck can only have up to two factions. Okay, so, uh, what have I used? So... Take out the calls then. We'll go for another primordial surge, and uh, what else will we go for? I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look, see what else we can. Uh... So we need tempies. Uh... That sounds alright. You, you tonight, Bolt. So can I save that now? 
I've still got two factions, okay. Oh, of course, the uh, heavy artillery is. Now I should be okay once I've added a few more in. So I want to just take everything out other than Tempe's. Uh, we sort of have to go with them too. So we should be okay now. Cool. So that's slot one. Uh, I have no idea how many decks you can make. The ideal is what I'll get, sort of. So uh, you can have a bit of splashing in with uh, another faction if you want to, instead of going for a mono faction. Which is interesting. Let's go test that in a proper game, not a tutorial, because uh, it's a bit boring. So uh, we'll go to quick play. Just out. So uh, we've been put against a computer, it seems. So I've got to get used to how this game is played. Choose control gets free, so I need a creature to start with. The Fell Walker, uh, is dropping a free attack for you. That is actually really good. I like that. So we'll start with that. Is it me or is it probably heavy artillery in any way? Okay. Uh, well I can't attack, so I suppose I'm going to have to end. Then again... Hmm... It seems I can still play cards. So I think I'll do that. Why do I have to pick an opponent's creature? Oh, is it a minus one? Yeah, it's a minus one, okay. We can't play anything else. So I think we'll end there. See what we can do from there on out. So he's uh, taken my guy out, but I've managed to bring out a zombie because of it. Which I think will help a lot. So he automatically draws me in, he sounds like quite a card, but so does he, Marrow Fiend. So I think we might go for him, to be honest, he sounds really uh, useful. What can he do? To choose control adjacent to have two plus two attack, wow. That sounds really helpful, so let's buff him up a bit more. Just to scare him off, really. So we go for a battle there, I mean, it's done more harm than good, I suppose, but I suppose it just puts a bit of damage on him. I'm not great at this game, in case you haven't realised. I think we're going to want to call the, uh which there. What does the Grim Grunt Predator do? Destroyed in plus two. That's actually really good. I mean, if we put him there, that's going to put us in a real high advantage. I'm not quite sure how the levelling system works yet, I've got to be honest. I've got to work on that. <laughs> Still, we are going to go in for the kill. Well, that's uh, done us quite well there. We've managed to get a bit of damage in, not a lot. We've got some spark bots of our own. I'm not even sure this is our deck, to be honest. I think it's just gave us a different deck altogether. So I'll have to have a look at that. So straight off the bat we're going to want to take out his annoying card, to say the least, and put a fell walker in. We can't play anything else, so I suppose we'll go into battle. And that's put us in a really good position, I feel. 
we're now a lot more... Ah, okay, so now I'm leveled up so I can play higher level stuff, I assume. Necronet. Electronet, even. That's actually quite useful. So, if we play... What does heavy artillery do? Is that a plus? Yeah, it is. So that could actually be really useful. If I was to go for a uh, heavy artillery level 2. Even a level 3 for that matter, I suppose. I think we will go for 2. Then it seems we can play the uh, highest level one as well. I think that's how it works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. Seems so we can we can't play any pluses at all, like I thought we could. I think I'll move it to the side just so I can get some damage in. That's going to really harm her. Probably put it in a better position, hopefully, I would have That was annoying. Target creature you control gets plus three attack. Target creature and opponent controls get minus three, okay. That's an interesting card. I think if I went for my defender here, my Alloin general here, that might put me in a uh, position to just try and absorb some damage, because I'm in a bad spot here, I've got to be honest. I need to find a way around that. See what I mean? I just took heavy damage. So I definitely want him in play. If I put him there... And then play... Is it Hungering Strike I want? Yeah. I'm going to play Hungering Strike. And we can... If you weaken the witch, I might do something, but it won't really. I think the general would uh, put us in a good spot. Well, we're not in a good spot, that's a problem. I've got to find a way around, that's for sure. He's electronetted me, which is going to put me in a really tough spot, to say the least. So let's take that out. Uh, battle technicians in the centre lane, other creatures you control get to plus two. That might actually be useful. I think if I put that there just so I can try and soak up some damage, because I need it. I'm still taking what? Damage, that's for sure. That's doing nothing, so that's fine. If I play that there, and we'll play the technician, that's a problem, because if I play that, I'll have to go for it, I suppose. That should do, that should help, I would say. So I'm not in a good spot here, I mean, I'm free life somehow. He's called me, so that should be game, I think. I'm still learning this game. Uh, not great at it, guys. <laughs> but I'm learning. And hopefully you guys will want to learn with me. I think we need to go in for another game. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. But yeah, I think I'm going to be going for my Terrible, just so I can actually use it. 
I want to go for a run on my watch. Don't want the computer. Come on now. We'll time it. Okay, we're joining the queue. Waiting for an opponent. Should be fun. I've got to be honest, as you've probably noticed by now, I'm a noob and I'm learning the game. I think that I've, I've tried to watch some games just online. Basically, I found that the worst thing about it was they didn't even go through the moves. They were just kind of like, oh, he's doing well, he's not doing so well. And, you know, it just sort of made it bad because I have no idea. If, I, if I'm new to a game, I want to have some sort of idea of what's going on. So, uh, I think I might want to go for a... Hmm. Is it my turn? It's not, is it? No, it's his. Okay, so now that it's mine, if I go for that, it should be in a very good spot. Because he's got what? Breakthrough, which I imagine is that it does damage. It's like Trample Island Magic, if you've played Magic. What else have we got? That creature gets plus one. Well, that's useless because I'm already using a breakthrough creature. Do you want to aid damage to an opponent? I'd probably want to play that, to be honest. Just try and get some uh, uh, nice damage in, really. So I can attack, which I'd imagine, but next turn I'll be able to break through. Literally, <laughs> as well. Um, so, succubus. Target creature gets minus three attack and minus three health. That's an interesting uh, effect. I didn't see. Oh, wow. That, whatever that was. That's another thing. I don't like that there's no battle log. I have no idea what's going on in that respect. I think there should be a battle log. Ah, there is one. So. Ah, okay. So I'll just quickly flip between out and down then, just to give you an idea of what the hell was going on. Because sometimes I wonder that. So I could go for a You gain 1 to 5 health. That sounds good. I'll put it on a separate lane, just to uh, cause problems. Because you, you get plus 5 life. I'd like that. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I'm going for extra health. It seems like an extra health deck, to be honest. That's the impression I'm getting. No shit. But that, uh, that's just my opinion. I, I suppose I should have expected it from a deck which is sort of a green deck. That tends to be what they are. So, in terms of card games, what I play, I play a lot of card games. I like card games. Gotta be honest. Uh, Magic, Yu Gi Oh!, Pokemon. Played them all, more or less. Uh, I played a game called Urban Rivals Online. That was a that's a fun game. Uh, honestly, you know, I've played so many. I'm quite looking forward to Hearthstone when that comes over to the uh, UK. That'll be awesome. Getting on the beta of that, I would love to. So he seems to have uh, stopped a lot of my plays there, but I don't know how many plays of his own he's got planned. Okay, so he hasn't got anything else he can do, which is nice. So that's interesting. That could be very useful. But I think I'm going to want even more help, so let's play that. Let's just try and build a uh, army of cards. Because uh, if we've got these sort of big hitters out, it should make things a lot tricky for him to deal with. Got to be honest, I can't actually attack, which is a shame, but hey. So we've got quite a few big hitters here, as well as a primordial surge, which could make things even worse for him. A uh, soothing radiance, heal six damage from each creature you control. That could be very helpful if he uh, goes some effect damage here. And then I've got an enrage, so that's interesting. He's trying to uh, block a lot of my hits, it seems, here. Okay, so we're probably going to want to uh, try and make things harder for him. Is this health as well? It is, so I could play that onto Grove Huntress. That could be very useful. 
then on top of that, I think we'll play one of these. Just to, uh, keep the game interesting, I suppose. When I go for the hit here, I'm going to be able to do quite a bit. Oh, has he got death rattle? Not death rattle, even, uh, do something to a level 1. That is quite an interesting, uh, effect. I did miss that, I've got to be honest, but he can only do one damage, so... Things aren't too bad, and I've leveled up. So that's going to make stuff a bit better. Uh, do 1 to 15 to an opponent, apps. So I can see if I've uh, actually moulded a deck where it's all about damaging the opponent in terms of effect damage and a bit of health from gain. That could be very useful. Ouch! He seems to be doing a lot of sort of effect type damage. So this turn we could, uh, until the start of your next turn, target level 1 creature gets defender and when this creature takes damage, destroy it. Hmm. That's interesting. I'll probably keep going for stag. Uh, stags, because at the minute he can't do anything against them. So just keep popping out more health is going to be interesting. So I take it, I gain 15. I do, wow. So that could be a really annoying card to deal with the later the game goes. Because at the minute I'm just gaining and gaining health. I really like this deck, I've got to be honest. This is my first attempt at and I'm going to be able to get better cards as I go along, which is going to be even better, in my opinion. I think, just to give you a catch up also, I thought I'd tell you why you've not had any videos in a couple of days. It's because I went to the dentist on Tuesday, and I uh, had to get a filling done. And so uh, they, they put some anaesthetic in my mouth, so uh, it's not me. And so I can't really talk with uh, that going on. Uh, that's going to be no use in the minute, I've got to be honest. I do want to use this though. To try and pop a bit more damage out, and we do one, which is really bad. I was hoping to do a little better than that. I think if I play with Stag, that could be quite useful. Just to gain even more life, as if we haven't got enough already. Because he really isn't a problem, to be honest. He can't do any real damage. What we got now, we've got yet another Stag. This one's going to give us plus 10. Ether Hound enters the field from your hand, you may put a copy of it into an adjacent field. That is quite interesting in terms of just trying to flood the field when you uh, got a lot of these sort of spells. In fact, that's a good combo with it, you can control gets plus two. Problem is, obviously, they can't attack straight away. Target creature gains one plus. Okay, so that's just a little buff. What does he do? Grove may chalk is to draw put a one. Attack one health seedling. Okay, that's probably a free. Oh, okay, it doesn't actually improve his effect. Some of them do, so it's worth. What has he done that? I've got to read the uh, thing, see what he's done now, because I have no idea. I'd love to know. Contagion surge. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to try and do this more just to give you a catch up on what's going on. Why has he got an exclamation mark? Use back damage to a level 1, destroy that creature, okay. That is annoying. Can we do anything about it? No. No, we cannot. That's annoying. Let's pop him on the end. Then throw Aether Hounds here. Then put another Aether Hounds on. That should make things really annoying. Sure, I can't do anything about him at the moment, which is annoying. But I'm sure I will. I gave him problems. And I gave myself a lot of help, so... That's going to help build things along. I've got another stag, so I'm basically just... Keep cycling around stags. <laughs> it seems like a really cheap way of doing things. This is, I suppose, one way that the game is a bit annoying. In terms of the fact that... You can keep recycling the same cards though, and you've got a lot more of them cards than you think you've got because the deck keeps getting cycled around. In fact, they get better over time, it's even worse. What is this? Uh, you gain 3 to 8 health. Yet another cheap card, but I love it. 
I'm going through that there. Then I'm going to throw another stack down. <laughs> I bet at this point it's just going, fuck's sake. <laughs> It's that annoying. I've got to be honest, even I'm an, I would be annoyed by it. I've took down all, all these cards except for that. Urgency dead. Does it have unrelenting dead, I should say? What has regenerate, potentially. I'm going to end there, but I think I've done quite a bit. I've not done much damage, but I'm gaining a lot of health. I'm starting to bring out bigger and bigger cards, making it harder and harder. And I've now got the level 2 version. Which is uh, slightly better. Slightly better buff. But as you see, he's not being able to keep up. And the uh, Lightbringer Cleric's going to give him more health. Wow. <laughs> so fun doing this. So, we've got a Light Shape for Servant. Okay. I think I'm going to just pop out two Prowlers and make things even worse for him. <laughs> I'm just going for battle. Do a lot of damage. So he's now on 81 here, and he's going to struggle to try and take me down. I mean, I'll be honest, he has got his Blight Walk, which is going to be a little annoying, but I can keep taking him down. Hmm. I've got him Rages, so that's not too much of a problem. I might just double him Rage. <laughs> Deepwood Bear Rider. Hmm. He's going to have to try and find a way around my uh, massive offense. I mean, that would be my main concern. The cleric, because I'm going to keep gaining health. I mean, I've gained quite a lead in here. What's he just brought out? Destroyed another creature in this lane and gets minus three. Okay. See what I mean? I, I didn't even phase me. Now what I can do is just go, yet more cards. <laughs> That's basically what I'm going to be able to do here, quite a lot, and just bully him with them. Which is kind of funny, I've got to be honest. I'm loving it quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I can't do anything else, so that's it. I've got a level 3 version now, which is even more fun. <laughs> And a level 3 stack in hand, so that's going to make things even worse. I think that this, this is the sort of deck I like, because it just gives him more and more health, and it just makes him fall more and more behind. Whereas the get sort of default deck again with before is more like the deck he's using now. So, I think it's Necrim, they're called. They, they, they're good, if you can get a good sort of... I, I get why they do it, and he's finally realised that he needs to start dealing with that cleric. I think it's a little too late though. <laughs> what is my is my primal surge any good? Not in this situation, probably. Except if I wanted to take him down, I could do that. I think I might. What has he done? Okay. That's annoying. But I'm still in a good position here. So I'm going to want to go stag. Making things a little worse for him. Put Primal Surge on him. Making him just a little bit more beefier to take out his servant. That should put me in a really good position now. He's just slowly sort of losing his health. And it's a... Uh, Give us a good idea for sort of real players to sort of. Because uh, I've been playing computer up to now, so it's been fun just to play actual players. So, Etherham, really good. I mean, I've got to be honest, I've sort of got basic sort of cards just to. I've got a few packs, but most. None of them was real. There was a few sort of new terrors, I've got to be honest. But I've got to be honest, I'm, I'd say the Stags are probably one of the. Uh, top cards of a deck, that and that, uh, cleric, that makes things really annoying for him. I mean, I'm going to just make things even worse here, bring out an Aoife Hound, 
She's going to give me a copy of it. And then what I can do here is just go for a bolt, so play that onto my stag. Make things even worse. <laughs> Deal quite a bit of damage to be honest. In fact, put him on four now. <laughs> so he's got to deal with these three. On top of the fact that, you know, Etherhand will get through Zombie unless he powers it up or weakens mine. Now that's even worse. I can now deal one. So as long as I deal more than four, I won't. And, uh, yeah, I think at this point you can basically call it a game. I mean, I might be a bit cocky saying that, but that's the way it's looking. And I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Uh, I'm sort of giving a fair impression of it or trying to. And also just trying to work through the game because it, it's a bit complicated from other card games, I'd say, because it's so obscure and different from them. But I'm really starting to get the hang of it. I would say if I, he would, if I was Renu, as that's his name, I would probably say, this could be game, mate, you might want to just call GG here. <laughs> He, I'm, I'm not saying he might not be able to make a comeback, but even if he managed to sort of fend off these, I mean, it's only a matter of time. This integrates just going and manage to get through. Even if he did less, I mean, I'm bound to draw another disintegrate at some point. I mean, the gap is 141. <laughs> I hope he doesn't plan on just, like, waiting it out, because that would be annoying. I've got to be honest, that's the weirdest time I've ever seen. 30 minute timer. <laughs> I mean, this game could potentially last an hour. <laughs> I mean, at most, you probably want a 5 minute timer per let, r sort of round. I mean, if he does sort of just try and stall this, I'm going to be really annoyed about it. I hope there's a way of sort of also sort of blocking people to try that. I'm not saying that's what he's doing, but I know in a lot of other card games that happens. I've got to be honest, I'm not impressed with the timer. He can wait it out though. Uh, it's more annoying for you viewers, I suppose. Uh, you know, you can go and, uh, he, He's being recorded here, being a nasty little staller. So, you know, if he, he wants to play like that, he can play like that. I've got nowhere else to be, man. <laughs> Just talk to you guys for a bit. <laughs> I've got to be honest, my commentary seems a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but I managed to just keep it all beat, cheerful, and just have fun. <laughs> I would like to know if you want to see more of this, so if you like it, that's the way I know you know you want to see more. So uh, be sure to do that, I've got to be honest. But uh, I really want your feedbacks. That'd be awesome. Uh, tip for the guys at Soul Forge, I would uh, suggest putting a better timer in because this one's really bad. If you didn't know, this is o open beta, so you know things aren't finalised. I'm sure they can change some stuff up, and that's one thing I would like to see them change because it seems like a horrid way for stallers to be able to go, ah, I'm gonna just stall it out. That'd be really annoying. I'll be honest, I'm uh, annoyed now. <laughs> But yeah, I suppose it gives me a few minutes to sort of talk about plans for the channel. I want to introduce more card game based stuff. I'm still going to do indie stuff and that, but I've sort of integrated into Steam as well now, so that's something fun. If there's sort of got something on Steam you want me to check out, that's something you can put that out. Now I'm going to have the check out, check it out, okay? So, talking of the check out, I've got a new uh, thumbnail being put up because that one I've got now is dreadful. <laughs> It was just basic, and uh, it, it could be better, so I've uh, asked UHD Studios to uh, do me a new one, and uh, he's gladly said he would, so that's great. He, but he didn't make the original, just to make that clear. <laughs> he did do my uh, banner though, so uh, that gives you an idea of his sort of, how he's, his sort of, what he's done before, I suppose. That's a good way of putting it. I don't really want to use a word like resume because it's not. But yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got to be honest, I love that banner, it's awesome. Number one game is also, I didn't ask for that, I've got to be honest, but you know, I like it being there now because I, I can say, you know, it's a goal to work towards. 
to earn that reputation as the number one game, so that'd be awesome. I do uh, like having you fans, you know, saying your pieces, you know, telling me what you want, what you don't want. You know, it's good, you know. I know it's easy to just view a video and go, wow, I need off. But, you know, and not even bothered to even like and all that. I, I get that, but, you know, if now and again just drop a comment, you know, whether you're just saying, you know, keep it up or... I don't really like this content, you put something different up or anything like that, just to let me know, you know, you want to see something a bit different. Plus, I think this is probably one of my most solid commentaries in ages. It's crazy. Plus, some days you just feel talkative. <laughs> That's what it is. Feeling talkative. Bruno is uh, still being a nasty little staller, but you know, he's being recorded here. He's going to feel right to back there, won't he? <laughs> You don't need to think for this long, I know that much. I, I, I get what he's trying to do, he's hoping that I'll be quit, but I'm not going to quit. No, no way, you know, he can have his taste of his own medicine. I can uh, talk to you guys, I know the gameplay's not riveting, and, uh, that's because he's an ass. But, you know, for you guys, you know, I can just talk away for those who are still uh, viewing, because uh, I know my viewer retention is not great. I could, uh, something I need to work on, I suppose, being more, more riveting and such. But, uh, yeah. Ah, sorry about that, guys. Background interruption. Ah. Runu here, still, uh, being lame. Honestly, it's crazy, eh? Oh. Oh, it's boring, isn't it? I've got to agree. So, uh, my impressions on Uter Uterra, or I don't know, I'll call it Uterra, I suppose. I've got, to, I've got to be honest. They're very good in conjunction with the sort of the spells from. The sort of flame guys, I can't remember what they're called, I've got to get used to the classes. I think there's another new class going in at some point as well. I could be wrong on that, don't quote me. But yeah, using stuff like Disintegrate alongside it really makes for some annoying plays because you've obviously got the stags and the uh, clerics who keep pumping in more life to you every turn. And then being able to pump out the Disintegrates makes it even more annoying. It's just uh, a point I've uh, seemed to have found. <sighs> I don't know why he's, or why players be like this, you know. It's uh, a really bad way of playing, I've got to be honest. But, uh, I mean, he could just admit defeat, but obviously he wants to waste time, and I can waste time. <laughs> Sorry to you guys having to watch this, I suppose. But, uh, you know what, I, I can't be bothered, I'm just going to call this commentary here and we're going to leave this game running while he's an asshole I suppose <laughs> so uh, let's just wrap it up here then with the outro so I, I just want to say you know thanks for watching everyone if you've liked I would like if you could leave a like you know just to let me know you know that you're liking this sort of content you want to see more card games just want to see more of this game you know leave me a comment just giving forcing your thoughts you know I'm always uh, appreciative of people who do that and uh it's not just loads of people like to use it as a motivator, but for me it just tells me that you're liking what I'm doing. Because if I'm playing something and you don't like it, because I know a lot of people just see something and they're like, I would just not watch that bit of content, but you know, just leave a com comment. You might, I might, I might put up something next week, you know, I like a pony, and you'll be like, ah, oh, you know, I like your soul forge, you know, you could put that, and uh, I know not to uh, play the ponies. But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching everyone. As uh, always, you know, it's always good to say goodbye, isn't it? So goodbye.